To be completely honest, I do not know why you guys want this video. I don't know why people are going to watch it. I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think the answer is pretty, the answer is pretty clear. She's probably garbage, but we have to give her the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. So that is what this video should be called. You know, I'm not going to title it that way. The video should be called the benefit of the doubt because that is exactly what we have to give Wilkes because he's probably trash. But of course, as you guys know, if the design is good, just like Glenn's, we throw out that one summon. So let's get to it. What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and today's video is trying to figure out how someone as reserved as this lady here, like she's super reserved and laid back and stuff like that, and then uh, she just turns into a pump rock star. So it's funny because Wilkes was a very popular as character when the first Core Raids first came out, the first Core Raids first came out, yes, the first of the first. She was really popular because she was one of the easiest characters to get a reasonable, no mana, Damage over time uh, on every character, if there was multiple characters, very easy. And she was one of the good ones that you would use if you didn't have like Bailey and stuff like that. So it was really, really, really crucial to have a character like her. And she kind of fell through the wayside. And now we're back because she has a fake core. And as we all know, the fake cores uh, boost characters to crazy extent. But let's see what she gets because, I mean, it's a lot of investment. She's three star. You'd have to bring her up to five star, possibly six star if you would want to do that. So no matter how this video goes, just remember that it's 100% MFO. Let's get into it. Let's first turk her up. Turk her up. Let's first take her to number five because that's where you at least have to bring her up. That's when she gets the mana stuff and things like that nature. Uh, let me, oh yeah, let me get my, my lights on. You guys like lights? I like lights too. So you guys can actually like see my eyes. I know some, some people, you probably like my eyes. Anywho, let's look at her lovely stats here. Uh, you can see the attack is low. <laughs> the defense is still pretty low. HP still going to be low. Even at the five star, I know the whole thing is like, oh, you can unlock potential of them. But it, it is what it is. Hit is 100. Dodge is 105, which is uh, probably her most redeeming quality. And the crit is 280, which is nice. But, now you know. That's why the attack is low. I've already explained this in multiple videos why that happens. Now the block is I ain't blocking and the attack speed is I ain't going. And that is actually going to be terrible for what her kit actually entails. And as you guys know, crit damage, block defense rate, and luck are exactly the same character. What am I doing today? What am I doing? Crit damage, block rate. <laughs> crit damage, block defense rate, and luck are exactly the same on every single character. So what is this character is supposed to do? It's very strange. Uh, so pretty much, uh, we, we need to go into the... I, I, she's one of the characters that I can't really explain it without going into the skills, unfortunately. So I do have to go into the skills to explain it. Let's first look at the hero study. She's 28 years old. Strong, black, independent woman. Uh, darkness. Uh, she's... Est oh, she, uh, does she that? Uh, I was just doing a stupid hero challenge and I needed someone from the Estorius Republic. And I was like, I don't fucking... I don't know. So let's go into her skills. Uh, she does have uh, the basic attack. A little zappity zap. Oh, I got. I forgot to put the sound effect so you guys can hear all the extreme dialogue. Zap. Pretty cool. Passive is going to be mana absorbed. Level one, which is definitely no bueno. Removes enemy buff and gains one mana. Pretty simple. Nothing crazy. She's a rare character. Some of the times when the fake cores, they will upgrade it, but in this case, they don't. Sorry, spoiler alert. Now she has this. The Demon's Realm required two mana for increased allies attack for seven turns. Now she's slow. So what this would mean is that she would relatively go last if you were to even get this off. She would be going last, and when she goes last, she would then buff your fast characters uh, with an attack buff, and hopefully they can utilize it. Because if you're getting outsped, this is trash. That's why you know she doesn't really provide any cool stuff there. <laughs> because if she gets outsped, it's trash. It's 100% garbage. Not if she gets outsped. Sorry. If your team is outsped, then you won't get all the benefits of this attack. The animation looks pretty cool. Tap. Tap, tap, and then Oogie Boogies come out. And then one more tap. A couple taps in there, and everyone has an attack buff. Pretty cool. Do like the animation on that. This was her whole claim to fame the Dark Planet Collapse. It does a crap ton of damage. And it, I mean, sorry, not a crap ton, but it does a ton of crap damage. <laughs> a ton of crap damage. The corrosion is not that strong. It only lasts for two turns. It's literally 
literally just for Guardian Stone Breaking and most importantly, most likely only Guardian Stone Breaking PvE content. But the animation's cool. Do that. Do that, pause it up, and the Thunderstrike comes down. Really cool animation, honestly. I, when she was like in the story mode, I, I definitely I was like, oh, she's pretty, oh, she must be a really cool character. And then I find out that she's like a rare. I was like, oh. So pretty much what you would do is that if you don't have the ability to spam this, you're usually going to be spamming this until you can spam this. But if you don't attack at all, you'll never have the mana for this. But now with the new system, that was the old way, but now she'll gain mana just from being slow. So if there's at least two characters in her row, including herself, that she'll be able to do the Demon's Realm on her first turn, initially on her first turn. So you can actually just use her as a buffer. You can literally never use the Dark Planet Collapse ever. And unless, like I said, unless you're Guardian Stone Breaking, especially if there's first Guardians on the field, you don't want to do this move at all. And also, uh, thanks to me looking at a little bit of FG, uh, he did remind me that Signature Force only works when you use mana. So her only move, her especially an AoE move, which would be really strong, will not trigger anything because it doesn't use mana which is really bad <laughs> so as it says here this figure is when you consume one mana as the number of mana consumption increases the elemental damage increases reduced damage for area effect damage which doesn't matter so it's a flat 40 uh, 4900 you know it would do better it does better the more that you have right unfortunately you know you would you know you would you kind of miss out on that because she doesn't spend any mana on that skill and as you guys know auto attacks don't cost mana either so that really hurts her really, really, really bad as far as like, oh, I want to invest into this character. So the only reason why I could fathomly, fathomly, or somewhat think that, oh, why would you want to get this character is only if the passives stack in some way, shape, or form. And it, as much as that's worth testing, <laughs> it's so scary to me. But like I said, I'm throwing one summon in there. We get what we get. But if I were to get that, that's the first thing I would want to test. I really would want to test it. But there's no reason to summon for this character. No reason to especially go that hard in the paint to get this character. Uh, let's go into the skills. Uh, we can read everything from there. Uh, I actually might want to check out her voice lines. Why? Can't you believe I'm an idol? Cat Crescinda. I'm sorry if you expected a cute young girl. I guess why, because she's like older, I guess. I don't care, as long as I can sing. She's like mad, like, it's, it's, like her, her socials are like as if someone's like mad at her, like it's like, yo, oh, what's this old bitch doing on? <laughs> What's this old chick doing on the on the stage? It's like, hey, chill. Like that's crazy. Like she. Oh yeah, in victory. I think I did pretty well today. Okay, I'm pretty sure you did. Her design is really cool though. I like it's weird. I guess she's like, they're saying she's old, but she looks pretty hip. I mean, like the nice cool jacket here, uh, with the 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 crazy design in the pants, and it says Wilkes Supernova, which is her name. So I don't know, I really like her design. I'd love to see what the tie dyes will do. Like, can they do it on her hair? Does it change the, the what is it, the tube top? Does it change the jacket? Does it change this? I probably It probably doesn't change this at all. There's too many colors in it. But still would be interested to see that. Again, but who's gonna invest into that? Wilkes, you'll be seeing Wilkes on other people's uh, fake core tickets. That's when you'll see it, like, oh, that's nice. Uh, basic attack does change a little bit. Now it has like the, the effects, again, Love that it has difference, uh, decent amount of differences that you can see. She does get the superstar in the fan meeting attention. So when she does strike a target, which is the problem is that she's slow and so is Janai. We need the fast character, which is if Aiden was, I think, in the beginning, right? Aiden would have been that character. So you can start off, do that, and then have that go on. But it is still seven turns, so it's like you, the, the ticks wouldn't really make any sense. But at the very least, she can start this off. She can start off with the superstar. When she's using her her mic check now it's called it does a little bit more damage and it doesn't even last long it's still two turns so it's whatever so at least you could do that anti fan mark might be a little bit more important the more characters that the more synergy characters that are on the table that are on in the fight the more likelihood that this is going to proc and again like i said i would love to test to see it does it twice if you do an AoE, you take a Wrath Hit for each First Guardian that was touched, like they'll do all their things. That's why if in certain situations, even the Core Raid right now, you would just stuff it with a bunch of First Guardians and you would kind of still profit from that. Now with here, it's like, I don't know, like, is it, will it happen once or do you get two times for it to trigger within one round? I would don't know. That, that would be the best thing for that. But again, who has time to, <laughs> we'll figure it out one day. Uh, so here is her lovely uh, thunder noise, which is her buff. It looks it's gonna look a lot different here And you can see that it went from 15 to 22 percent They usually have to compensate for the unlocked potential the fact that you can't bring that over So it's a little bit of strong over attack buff, but it's a 22 percent of her attack, which is not that high to begin with Let's look at the skill 
Oh. That's actually cool. Like it's like she's pumping up the thing like like as a speaker. I don't know. I thought that that's actually pretty cool. Really cool detail. Doesn't in that that all that was the same background that they already designed. And that's what I was saying before. Like, how did the summer characters not have like beaches in their in their animations and stuff like that? But for some reason, the synergy always brings you to this uh, stage every time. So the summer characters really have no excuse for not having like beach oriented stuff. Like I was clearly saying before. Uh, now, lastly, is the mic check, and it's um as you guys know, I already explained it. So let's just look at the animation. Right. I'll sing my new secret song for you. Secret song. Relatively looks the same, but again has like a little bit of more of the effects. And again, that's all you need. That's all you need. Kind of sorta. And as you can see, boom! Now she has the now he has the superstar on him, the tension, and then he'll be taking more damage. And it's nice that it doesn't matter like the 100% pick, 100% increased damage. It doesn't matter which one of them do it. So if Jedi gets stunned, then hey, then Wilkes can do it. Uh, still, so far, unless it works the way that I've I've been saying, it doesn't really look like it's going to be summonable and this is what i was trying to tell people before is that some people were like oh i i don't know if i should summon on the banner with the character that i know that is good <laughs> versus this new upcoming thing that i have no idea how good it is and this is why you don't do that is because if a if a banner comes out as good you have enough resource for it and it's guaranteed if you care about your account like that to that degree guaranteed boost your account why would you not summon on it? Why would you not take one of those rebanners and get the Tantalo or, or, or you know, whoever was on the, or the Garf in that case when I got Mahara and technically I should have got Garf. It's kind of stupid that I did that. But anyway, guaranteed good stuff is guaranteed. Like there's no prediction that this stuff is going to be good at all. And as you can see with Wilkes, very underwhelming characters. There's nothing I could really say as far as like that she's good and you know, oh, at least she does this. And it's like, no, there's literally nothing. <laughs> it's just nothing. She looks cool though. She looks really, really cool. And uh, let's do that one pull to see if we can at least get her or possibly something else. Uh, last time I did it for Glenn, Glenn came out and was like, nah, bro, you ain't gonna disrespect me like that, bro. So let's see if she does the same thing. I highly doubt it. So look, uh, see, I rather, if this is, honestly, I rather just finish Luke. I don't think I have enough though. I need 12, 12 times seven is math. Calculator 8400. I would need 3,000 more. I'd rather summon for him. I think that he, he, uh, that he would provide more help to my account than she would, unless it works the way that I say it does. <laughs> like, it has to work like that weird, that weird way. It has to work that weird way or, or not. How many of these? I, I'm not getting these as much as I want to. Anyway, let's, let's do it. See, I really, see, that would make, the, that would make her, her move look way cooler if she has this that actually looks like a speaker. Do a snap skip here. A new companion has arrived. Boom shagalaga. Hope you guys checked out the Coliseum video. I dropped it at like 12 a.m. in the morning. Really hope that you guys checked it out. I'll put a card if you guys want to watch that. That was a really funny video. I had a lot of fun editing that. Some videos are like, like point blank, but there are some videos that are really fun to make. That video was really fun to make. That's why I put must watch. I hope that you guys didn't feel like I was deceiving you. Oh, spicy. Gucci spicy. I still haven't got a general pull. He always comes in with that orange screen first. It's very weird. She feels evil energy. That could mean something. Darkness is coming. She's black. Like, maybe? Maybe? I'm just kidding. There's no way. I'm probably gonna kick the. They probably. You racist mother. <laughs> they probably keep me off the boat for that. See? Don't make jokes. Don't make jokes. Not, it's not good. It always backfires. There's no way that I would ever summon more than that in that banner. Anywho, what do you guys think about Wilkes? Am I underselling her? Am I am I not? Am I throwing disrespect on her name? Cash, you forgot X, Y, and Z. This is a crazy combo. Like I honestly don't see. Like she's not fast, so she's not a fast buffer. She's a slow buffer, so she has to survive. She will be able, based on as long as you have one other character with her in the back row. I'm not doing gear sets. <laughs> Gear sets is like just go red. She needs to survive. Go red and then awaken her in red. But if you awaken Wilkes, I don't know. You had to have been a super fan of her. And I'm just not. I'm just not. I I'd rather do Duncan. Watch my last video. I I'd invest in Duncan right now. Duncan Duncan's super spicy. Give him a mech suit or something like that. Make my day. Another way to make your day is if you go buy that merch, man. What are you doing? I don't understand yet. 
like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that every day at the Cashing News, you're lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.